This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting satisfactory guide. Today we are going to talk about conveyor splitters, ratios, and splitting things evenly. Let's get to it. When splitting stuff into different containers or crafting machines or whatever, you may think something like this would work. You're splitting into one and then it's just going to go down the line here and split them all off into each of these. And I mean, it does work, but it doesn't split evenly. What happens is, is everything that comes out of here gets split in half, then that half gets split again, then that half gets split again, and then last but not least, that half gets split into this one, or put into this one. So let's take a look at what happens there if we do that. So we have four containers here, so we're just going to drop eight of these steel uh, or iron plates, whatever they're called, reinforced iron plates into there. And there we go. So we we should end up with the most in this one. We have five, we have three, we have two, and then we have two. So we ended up with the most in this one because this one is the first one in the line. This is horribly inefficient. So when you're making your factory, if you're trying to maximize efficiency, this is not something you want to be doing. So a situation like this, what we would do is just split two and then two again. So let's delete all of this stuff. All right, so we have our container here and we're just gonna climb up on top over here to make things easy so that you can see. So we have our first splitter that's going to go here. Then we're gonna split off of that one so that we can go one, two. And then we're gonna split off this one, this side here so that we can go one, two. So now what we do is we just go ahead and connect that up like that and then we will connect that into there come down here do the same thing so it splits in half splits in half and then splits into the final ones so with a setup like this everything should go into the containers even because you're splitting in half and you're splitting in half again so let's just grab eight of an item we're going to dump that in there and then it's going to go out split in half those halves are going to split and then everything's gonna go into the proper containers, as you can see, or I should say, as you saw, two went into each of these. Now, if you have an even number, if what you're splitting into is even, you essentially just replicate this over and over again. So if we had, uh, what do we have here, four? So if we had, say, eight, what we would do is just split off of these and then those lines would go into more splitters. So I'll, uh, I'll show you here. So and then we would have a second set here. And then the same thing here. That would split into two more. And then each of those would split into two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you could just repeat that over and over and over again as long as it's an even number. Now, what if it's not an even number? Well, as long as that number is divisible by three, you can do that pretty easily as well. So of course, if it's three, you would split out and then each one of these would go into a container. If it's six, you would split out twice. So like we have here, and then each one of those would go into a container. If it's nine, you would do the same thing. You would just split out from here. We would add another splitter to the end of this, and then you would have nine total connections at the end. And then you can just rinse and repeat that as many times as you need to, as long as the number is divisible by three or an even number. But what if it's not? What if it's something like five? Five is not divisible by three, nor is it an even number. And that becomes a bit of an issue. I have a setup for that. There is a solution to that, and I'll show you. So this may seem a little complicated. I'm gonna do my best to explain it as simply as I can. I understand the process. I do not, however, understand why the process works. So if somebody who is way better at math than me would like to explain in the comments, go ahead and go for that. First one to do it and uh, seems legit enough to me. I'll pin it unless somebody can just prove what you're saying and then uh, that one will get pinned. So essentially what you wanna do is you have your, wherever this item is coming from, you have a merge node, then you have your first split. From that split, you go to an even set of splitters. So you see we split into two. So what we have now is we have one left over and that's essentially what you want. Whatever you're going to split into, if it's 
an odd number that is not divisible by three, you should always have one left over. So as you can see here, we go one, two, three, one, two. This would split into a third one, but that sixth one is not there. So what you do then is you bring that back around and loop that into the original merge node back here, and that will split everything evenly down the line. So let's take a look at how that works. So we'll just grab 10 of an item. Okay, we got 10 of the plates there, and we're just going to let those go out. Let's see if we can get up here so you can see them and how they go. So you can see there, they go out, they get split, those get split, but the ones that can't go into anything come back around here, get put back in the merge node, and somehow know where to go. Why? How? I don't know. But they do. They always end up going right where they need to go. So there you go. I don't know which one was missing one. Looks like the first one there was apparently missing one. And so now, so was that one. And it'll go right in there. So if we come over here and we take a look, you can see there's two in that one, two in that one, two in that one, and that one, and that one. And it doesn't matter how many times I do this, it will always work. Now I have a much larger one set up down here. So down here, we have seven. So for seven, we have the essentially the same thing. We just split out again. So these always will end up being or should always end up being an even number at the end. You're essentially going for it like you would go for if you were doing an even split, but you can't. So you take that last one and you bring it back around. So you can see here we have our merge node. Then it comes through, splits once, splits again splits two more times like it would be going into eight but it can't go into eight so what happens is that last one comes back around and then it'll end up splitting back into uh where it needs to go once again i'm not 100 sure why but it works and it works every time and this method is absolutely flawless so we have 35 copper wire i'm going to bring that over here and uh what's going to happen is seven uh because there's seven containers it's going to end up with five in each container. So there they go. As you can see here, we got the, um, was that four over there that did not make it into any one of the containers. So they're going to go back around and find their proper spot. So they'll go through here. They'll get split again. Should go two over here, two over here. Maybe. Could not because I don't know. It, they know where they need to go. Yeah, it splits even. Then should split even again. So that one went there. So this one should go here. And that one over there is going to go to back around apparently. We're going to go down here and take a look. I think that one is supposed to end up in the first one here. Nope. So we got five in that one. 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 Four in that one. And five in that one because that last one should come right around to here. It's going to split and it's going to split and then it's going to end up here. And there it goes right where it needs to be. So you've seen it work and let's take a look at one more example here. Hopefully you understand by now, but I'm going to show you one more example. I did 11 over here. So for 11... I built as though I was going to divide into 12. So if you take a look here, I have essentially almost the exact same setup as I do over there, except we split this one into uh, two as well. So what we did is we split as though we were going into uh, six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we did the same thing again. So now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then that last one, which would be the 12th one, loops back around. So I find it easiest to build backwards. I mean, depending on how you like to do your math, that's up to you. Uh, but I find it easier to just start with the ones that I have at the, you know, closest to wherever I'm connecting them to, because then what I can do is I can count. So when I built this first set here, I knew that I just could count back and then I built these and then I just looped them into it. If we do this run here, they will all end up in the proper spot. We'll grab 11 of these. We'll toss them into here. They'll go, I'll grab 11 more just to run them through as well. Okay, so now they're just going to divide out. So this is going to divide into three. And then each of those is going to divide into two. And then each of those is going to divide into two. The ones that don't find a home will loop back around. 
and they should all end up in the right spot. Go over here and we will take a look. We have one in that one, two in that one, two in that one, two in that one. And it continues on and on and on. So we have one should be finding its way back over here somewhere. It must have got there it is. So it's back in here. It's in here now. So I don't know how often you're going to run into this situation where you need to divide into one of these sets of numbers. Uh, I haven't really run into that much. Mostly I divide into two and three machines. Uh, but if you do at some point have like a mega factory and your best ratio and your, you know, in order to get your best efficiency, you're going to have to do something like divide into 11 or seven or something like that. That's how you go about doing it. All right, hopefully you found this informative. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.